Well, good afternoon, everybody. As cases of coronavirus surge around the country, on Tuesday, Governor Larry Hogan described the situation facing Maryland in simple terms. That our hospitals have too many people in them. The Tuesday tally of new cases around the state marked the third highest single day since March, with over 200,000 total cases now reported this year in Maryland. Another possible spike due to holiday travel could make things even worse in the weeks ahead. According to our modeling, we can expect to reach a new record high for hospitalizations in the coming days. With almost two dozen hospitals now at 90% capacity or more, the governor and his team called for more help on the medical front lines, opening this website to help with recruiting up to 3,000 people with clinical backgrounds, including current medical students. There's great opportunity there for colleges and universities to think through collectively how to make sure students are brought into the response. The need for medical help also brought calls for more federal funding, with Governor Hogan taking direct aim at Congress to help small businesses and families during the pandemic. If you pass no other legislation and you can only accomplish one thing, it must be to pass the phase four relief package. A spike in cases putting a strain on hospitals, with Maryland leaders hoping others answer the call for help. The current focus today is, uh, is on our health care providers and our hospitals and those people that are in the hospital and we're trying to keep alive. Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.